welcome to the tutorial of Age of Conan. This is the second tutorial and I want to talk about movement. So let's get started. We are at the login screen. And let me remove the dog. And we have our username, password, we log in. Here we can see that we now have our character. Test Deep, or whatever name you named your character. We click on our character, it's already selected, and we click on Play. And we will log in exactly where we started. But now, the first thing we see is the Login Reward screen. Every day you log in, you can click on a reward and you will get it. As you can see, get reward, we click it and you get something. Click the little X button to remove the screen. Item shop, we click the X's to remove the screen and we are here. Okay. Let's talk about movement. There are two ways to move in Age of Conan. You can move with your mouse and you can move with your keyboard. Let's start with our mouse. I would advise everyone playing this game to have a mouse with a left button, a right button and a scroll wheel. The scroll wheel is very important because as you can see, you can use it to zoom in and zoom out. And it will become quite convenient later in the game. When you hold the left button of your mouse, when you're standing still, you can change the camera without changing the direction you are facing. Furthermore, you can view at any angle, under, on top, the freedom of movement in Age of Conan is extreme, it's good to know. If you hold your rouse your right mouse button and then move your mouse your character will face the direction where you end your mouse release it and the cursor will come back to you how to move with your mouse that's very simple you hold your right mouse button and then you hold your left mouse button. We go forward. We go back. And as long as you hold your rouse right mouse button, you can face any direction and walk in any direction. The moment you take off your left mouse button, you will stop. That's how simple it is. Um, now, how to move with your keyboard. The easiest way if you're starting this game is to move with the mouse button, with the arrow buttons. So every keyboard has four arrow buttons, up, down, left and right. If you press the down button, you will go backwards. Let me zoom in a little bit. If you press the forward button, you will go forwards. Now, if you press the left or m right mouse button, 
your character will turn at its place, either left or right, as you can see. This is all without mouse. Now, what happens if you hold, for example, your left and top arrow? You will start running in a circle. If you hold your back and right arrow, you will start running in a circle backwards. Very simple. Then we have the space bar. Jumping. Easy. For more advanced uses, you can press... These are all standard key bindings, by the way. So everyone who starts has the same key bindings. If you press the Z, the Z button, and the C button, which are um, right above your spacebar on the left side, you will move to the right or to the left. C will move to the right, Z will move to the left. As you can see, if you hold the forward arrow button and the C button, you will move in a diagonal way. You can tr test it out, try it out yourself. Those are the most simple controls for movement. Um, let's get to the on-screen movement sections. On the left top side of your screen are some important buttons. There are one, two, three, four, five, including the field manual button which we don't use. Left clicking on them will open a new screen. The first and the third button are not available. The first one becomes available at level 5, I will get back to this, and the third one at level 10, I will get back to this as well. The second button, however, you can open. By left clicking the black top bar you can move it all around. By going to the edges of any corner, you can increase the size or, or decrease the size. There's a word collapse extent, which will make it small and big. There are three categories, blue one, green one, red one. The blue one are the place where your friends will be listed. The green one will be the place where your guild members will be listed and the red tab is for people that you want to block so it's called ignored it means that if you ignore someone he will become he will get into this list and you will no longer receive any messages from him we click the X to exit the fourth button to change <coughs> positions sometimes. It's the playfield access window. In terms of movement, this is like like it says a playfield access teleports. The first tab is called premium teleports and these teleports you can only use with teleport coins. Teleport coins either drop in game for example in the daily login reward section you have three teleport coins after seven 13 days um, and you can also buy them with, with real money um, I don't use them a lot the second tab are the access passes the access passes will be unlocked after 
a number of achievement points, which I will talk about later. Achievement points can be obtained in-game only. And it's a beautiful way to increase your character's movement. The third tab is not important right now. It shows um, the locked dungeons that are locked for you for a certain number of hours before you can enter it again. We close it. The fifth button is called the Rate Finder button, which is not important. It is unlocked when you get to level 80. We close it. Um, a little intermezzo, the maximum level of a character in player versus an environment is level 80. Right now you can see we are level 1. And the maximum level for PvP, because you can also PvP on the PvE server, is level 10. So we have maximum level 80 for PvE, maximum level 10 for PvP. Okay, then we go to the right top corner where our map is and where we can see ourselves. If we go with our mouse towards the map, a little widget will jump out. We can click it, left click it, and the map will open. World map, you will enter the map where you are normally because I already opened it um, the last time offline. So clicking it away, you simply go over the minimap and you open the map. By the way, the minimap is there as well, where you can change a little bit around and using the scroll wheel, you can zoom out and zoom in. You don't need this. You can zoom in, zoom out. On the big map, you can see the entire map. Now, there is a legend which you can close and open, and you will see all the symbols and their uh, meaning. Most important to start with are the quest givers with an exclamation mark and the quest solvers with a question mark. So if we see on our map, we have a quest giver right in front of us. There's also a orange X, which is a selected active quest. There's also a less orange one which is selected inactive quest. We see a little yellow one, yellow symbol. It is a travel symbol. And we have our blue round with a dot, with an open in the middle, which is a resurrection point. Resurrection points are points where you can resurrect if you happen to die, and you will die. I can promise you that. Good, we close the map. Left of the map are on the standard interface the quests listed. And um, right now we have one quest. And um, yes, this is all about movement and that will conclude our second tutorial. Thank you for watching.